This was a lot of work, but it's finally done. When we moved into our home, it was feeling a little bit dated and worn out. It had a mix of light blue fiberboard panel siding and white aluminum siding. Now the home was definitely showing its age. So little by little we tackled it and not only renovating the inside but the outside too. Pulling off the siding bit by bit and stripping one side at a time. Putting up new sheathing, new house wrap.
So once the house was all wrapped up, it was time to start tackling the exterior. First, pulled off the roof and replaced the roof. We needed to do some work in the attic, and the old roof just wasn't a good fit for the new style of the house we wanted. So with the new roof, we went with a nice dark charcoal roof. That looked beautiful. After the roof was done, started doing the siding. We chose an LP smart side siding. This is an OSB product. It was so easy to work with. Beautiful, wide eight inch boards. And we love the grain, the embossed wood grain finish. It's really cool. We got our siding pre-finished in white to make installation a little bit quicker and easier. And it did help a lot. We're so happy we went with the pre-finished siding. We chose white because it's just a beautiful clean color. It's timeless, it's classic. It's gonna last a long time and just look great for a long time. Installation was pretty easy. The hardest part of the job was honestly measuring the length because you can't just measure from A to B. You gotta measure and take away space for the gaps at the end. That made it a little bit tricky because you gotta make sure you're leaving enough gap on each board and sometimes it was hard to get the length pretty accurate over the long stretches or up at the gable ends. But working together, me and Ashley, we got it done. I can't say that I would have done anything different. Everything worked out pretty well. We're happy with the siding choice and it just looks amazing. The house is a total transformation. Just, it's unbelievable. The trim we used is a vinyl trim. LP does make a wood trim that matches. We just got these because we were able to get them locally and they were the right length that we needed and it was just what we chose. After the siding was up, we uh, touched up the nail heads and any imperfections with some touch-up paint and it was done. All new vinyl eaves all the way around. It's gonna be low maintenance, never have to touch them again. They came out super clean, love those. You might notice that we don't have gutters. Now, a lot of people asked if we're gonna be doing gutters and no, we don't plan on gutters, not yet. Uh, if I got gutters, I want seamless gutters. I can't DIY seamless gutters, so we're not doing gutters right now. And also a couple of other reasons. Michigan, where we live, gets a lot of snow, a lot more snow than rain. Now, a lot more snow just means that we're gonna have a lot of buildup on the gutters. It's gonna back the snow up onto the roof. It's gonna hold snow and ice. It's gonna be a mess. It's just potential for the gutters to get damaged and for the roof to be holding more snow and ice than it needs to. So we prefer to skip the gutters. Also, our ground is very well draining. We get no puddling, no streaming. It just soaks right in. It's all sandy, loamy soil. So we don't get a lot of water problems, especially with our foundation. Our foundation is 45 years old and it looks solid and beautiful. And this house has never had gutters. So there's no reason to rush into getting gutters. Instead, we put down this mulch. The idea of the mulch is just to help stop the dirt from splashing up on the house. It'll keep the house cleaner, but the water is just gonna disappear in there and you'll never have a problem with it. Now, this is a place in the house that we really had a lot of trouble figuring out how we wanted to make it look good. We had the electrical box, the internet, all kinds of stuff going on here. And we didn't want it to be a hassle to side around and also to maintain in the future. We decided to do some straight vertical tongue and groove boards. That gives a nice flat surface to mount everything on. It also makes maintenance easier. We put some trim on it and did the siding up to it. I actually like the contrast of the different sidings coming together. So I'm happy with that. We also painted all of our utilities white to help it blend in. And I think that came out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Now this is the back of the house. Nobody really sees this except for us, but I still wanted it to look good. Ideally, we would never put an electric meter or internet on a home. I think that's a terrible idea. It should be on a pole in the yard. I wish more people would do that. But we were just working with what we had here. We did dark blue navy doors. It looks really good with the white. We're happy with that color choice. And next to the door, you can see we put another piece of flat siding over there. This is a little bit different than the back of the house. Instead of tongue and groove, we used a piece of panel siding. It matches our lap siding, but it's a vertical panel siding. And we did that for the chimney to rest on, another nice flat surface to mount the air intake and chimney to. Looks really nice. Now you can see we chose some very small, cute little lights for the outside doors. And we just liked them because they were small. They're nice little cubes run by an LED light inside. And we didn't want something big on the house. We just thought those were modern and clean and cute. And they actually put out quite a bit of light at nighttime. So happy with that choice, a nice simple, cube. And I know that some of our choices, somebody's going to frown upon. And this is the thing, is that we're not trying to be high-end designers. We're trying to make a home that we like. Uh, everybody's got to do their own thing. 
choose what fits you. If you like a big fixture, a big fancy fixture, go with that. Different color siding, different color doors, we totally get it. Uh, our way is not the right way, it's just our way. We just, we're just having fun and trying to build a home. So now that the siding is done, it feels so good. We're heading into fall and we're ready for winter. The house is wrapped up, it can take anything. But we need steps, that's coming next. We're gonna be building some landings for the front and back door. Also, something to keep the rain off our head when we're coming in the front and back door. So that'll be coming very soon. We got a couple other plans for the rest of the property before it gets too cold out, so stay tuned for that. But it has really come together this year and the house has been totally transformed. So of course, this whole job couldn't be possible without Ashley. What do you guys, what do you think about the siding? I think it's awesome and the best choice we could have made. I love it. Was installing it okay? Yeah. It was pretty easy. With the siding nailer and the right tools, pretty easy. Yeah. But here's the question that you guys are really wondering is how much did it all cost? We have a receipt right here and we paid $2,851 for the siding on our house. Now we had about 25 pieces left over and it came out to be about a little over $200 worth of siding. We paid $8.75 per board, I think, uh, somewhere around there. $28.51 minus like say two, uh, 220. You know, if we added the trim cost, trim is ridiculously expensive, uh, the vinyl trim, but picture with the trim, odds and ends, probably close to $3,000, I would say. Yeah. All together for the siding on our entire house, DIY ourselves, and not too bad, really, really isn't. Mm -hmm. The roof cost us about $2,000, in case you guys are wondering about that, just a little over 2,000. Yep. Again, a lot less than paying somebody else to do it. Labor is costly, but your own labor takes a lot of time and effort, so you gotta balance those out. I think white was the best choice. I think it looks really sharp with the dark blue doors. Yeah. It just looks so good. And we've had these colors picked out for ever. Well, I think we covered it all, so we're gonna wrap it up now. We really appreciate you guys watching, and we'll be back soon. So until next time, take care. Bye. <laughs>